I'm moving on to friction. What is friction? Friction is a force of opposition. It opposes the motion between two surfaces in contact and two surfaces that tend to move against each other. Now, we have laws guiding friction. You should be able to state the five laws comfortably. But one of the major laws, which is the last one, which states that friction varies directly with the normal reaction force, is giving us F very directly with the normal reaction force. Removing the proportionality sign, we will introduce a coefficient or a constant. Now we have that F is equal to mu R. Ah, this mu is our coefficient of friction, which is a constant of proportionality. Now, uh, there is a problem here, which I am going to solve. Well, in order to solve this problem, I need to quickly state that, that there are two types of friction. We have limiting or static friction, then dyna dynamic or kinetic friction. Now, for a body, before a body begins to move, you need to overcome what is called the limiting or static friction. And in order to do that, to get the magnitude of that frictional force, you use this formula. Now, for the second type of friction, which is dynamic or kinetic friction, we need, it is a, it's a frictional force that needs to be overcome for a body to continue moving. For a body to be in motion, you need to overcome certain frictional forces in order to keep it moving. So in order to solve that problem, you have to overcome the static frictional force, which is this one, plus additional force that needs to be added to keep a body moving. So this problem here, deals with both the static limit, limiting uh, or limiting frictional force and the dynamic frictional force. So this is the problem. A wooden block of mass, 1.6 kilogram, rests on a rough horizontal surface. If the limiting frictional force is 8 newton, calculate the coefficient of friction. Now, in this problem, we don't even need, it, it is not even an object that needs to be in a constant motion. We have to overcome what is called the static or limiting frictional force before the block of wood can just begin to move on a horizontal surface. So we are dealing with here with the first type of friction, which is the static or limiting frictional force. So given our data here, we have been given our F as 8 Newton, as stated in the question here. Now, we have also been given the mass of the wood, which is given by 1.6 kg. Now, remember that here, in this formula, we are looking for what? Mu, unknown. And also we have that our reaction force is also what? Unknown. It is also stated in one of the laws, if you are going to Recall that the reactional force, uh, frictional force increases to the same extent as the force which tends to start the motion. So our reactional force is always equal to the weight of an object. So our reactional force is equal but opposite in direction. So if our weight is directed downward, our reactional force is directed upward. So giving the formula for weight as Weight is equal to mass times acceleration due to gravity. So from here, we can obtain the value of our reactional force. So if we have our R, which must be equal in magnitude to our weight, but opposite in direction. Therefore, we can attribute our R as our what? Our mg. So giving us R as mass times acceleration due to gravity. We all know that acceleration due to gravity is a constant. Giving approximately as 10 meter per second square. So, R is now giving us 1.6, which is our mass, times what? 10. So our R is now giving us 16 Newton. So in order to get our coefficient, we are going to substitute our R, our F, to get our coefficient of friction. So given the formula, as F is equal to mu R, what is mu? Dividing both sides by R. 
So our mu is what? F over R. Hence, we have 8 over what? 16. So this is equivalent to here, 1, here 2. This is equivalent to what? 0 0.5. That is the value of our coefficient of friction. So we have answered our question here. So in these formulas in physics, you can be asked to calculate any quantity or any variable given your formula. All you need to know is be conversant with your little mathematical uh, knowledge on how to do change of subject or formula. Whenever any variable is given for you to, you should be able to um, mathematically deduce your answer by getting it solved.